Welcome to the San Francisco Earth Day. Listen, Earth Day is every day for our organization. So to see this kind of celebration around the world on April 22nd every year is a thrill for us. 2012 San Francisco Earth Day. Who's excited to be here? Come on. All right. Who here is in support for the conservation and sustainability of our environment? Let me hear you. Come on. That's more like it. When you realize that you're the way showers, you're the transition team, you're the ones who make the difference. It's said that leadership is founded upon people who make intelligent decisions that benefit the masses with often startling and incredible results. And that's where you come in. Take your power back. Eco green, live green, sustain your planet. It's all you have. Today is the 42nd Earth Day. Uh, the first Earth Day was created to raise awareness about degradation of water and air. Soon after the 1970 Earth Day, new laws like the Clean Air Act and the Clean Water Act were passed. Now, 42 years later, Earth Day is observed by more than one billion people around the globe. Earth Day provides an opportunity for all of us to do something to make the world a better place. Every generation is called in different ways to a higher purpose and forced to realize and recognize and address a, a great challenge. My generation, e even those younger than us, have accepted this as our cause and that, they are, and that we are ready to rise to the challenge. And by that, I don't mean just small acts uh, using CFLs and biodegradable soaps and less plastic. I mean that we, we understand and are prepared to pay the true long-term cost of overhauling the basic infrastructure of how we live. This isn't about tree hugging and fish kissing anymore. It's about the way we live. Here in San Francisco Earth Day 2012, we focus on young people who are committed to change the way we live. What an amazing time to be alive, isn't it? I heard the other day on Jon Stewart, so this must be true, that a teenager in Africa with a cell phone has access to more information today than the President of the United States had 15 years ago. Isn't that amazing? Think about that. It is a new day. But what I know gives me hope time and time again is when people come together and find solutions. Sierra Club and our allies have worked across the country. We've stopped. 166 coal plants from being built. We put 106 coal plants on a path to retirement. And there's an energy revolution that's starting right here in California to put solar on every roof across the country. So whatever you do this Earth Day, get involved. We're here communicating messages and you know it. You feel it. You know that every day is Earth Day. Every day we're trying to bring out and do things to save the Earth. But we come here together to be part of a community so that we can charge up ourselves, we can charge up our hearts, we can charge up our minds. We can listen and open our bodies and open our minds to all the amazing human beings out here. I encourage everybody out here to open up your mind and talk to people. Open up your mind and have a conversation. Go outside of your box. This is Earth Day. This is San Francisco. This is 2012. This is time for transformation and change. Everybody that showed up here today is one of part of the way showers, the transition team, the ones who make the difference. Everyone here is growing expanding an awareness of an understanding of an ecology that is es in, in its essence is absolutely important to us. Save your planet.
number one do is we are um, cultivating and expanding the awareness through the schools in San Francisco and around the Bay Area. Here's an idea from Hope and Beyond. Let's make everyday Earth Day. It's not easy when you have a busy life, which defines most San Franciscans. But if today you can get away from your individual everyday concerns, there isn't anything more important for all of us. Somebody's got to heat it up up in here. Busted flat in Baton Rouge. I was waiting for a train. And I was feeling near as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed the diesel down just before it rained. Throwing us all the way to New Orleans. Come on, sing it. Well, I pulled my harpoon out in my dirty red bandana. While well, singing soft while well, Bobby sang the blues, yeah. When she walked, was flapping time, and I was holding Bobby's hand in mine. We sang every song that driver knew, yeah. Freedom's just another word. Good enough for me and my Bobby. Bobby. 